Today, I'm continuing down the road of stabilizing and casting wood. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to turn the Harbor Freight pressure paint pot into a pressure pot for casting, as well as making some needed accessories. There are some articles online that will try to steer you away from using the Harbor Freight pressure pot. But really, as an entry level, it's my feeling that as long as you follow the proper safety procedures, you use all of the safety equipment like the pressure regulator and the safety relief valve, and you ensure that all of your bolts are tightened down, that you should be fine. But as always, your safety is your responsibility, so if it doesn't feel safe to you, don't do it. There are a few ways to go about converting the paint pot to a pressure pot for casting, and I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details. There are quite a few ways to do that, and I will provide references to some very good articles that I've found around the web on my website with my detailed article for what I've done here. Uh, but the gist of it is, depending on the setup that you choose to go with, you're going to need to get a handful of adapters. Um, really, you need to get your compressor hooked up, you need a ball valve, and at least a cap. Uh, that is the minimum that you're going to need. If uh, You may need another adapter to go from like 3 8 inch to quarter inch. Um, but I will have that reference out on my website if you want to actually go forward and make something like this. To ensure you get a proper seal, you'll want to use Teflon tape on all of the threaded areas and a little Vaseline on the rubber ring around the lid. When pressurizing the pot for the first time, you may want to limit the pressure regulator on your compressor to less than the maximum rating for the pressure pot. You won't want to leave the regulator on your compressor at a lower pressure because it will increase the amount of time that it takes to bring your pressure pot up to full pressure. You'll also want to take this time to set up the pressure regulator on the pressure pot and set and test the safety relief valve on the pot as well. After the pressure pot is set up, there's going to be a couple of accessories that you may want to make. The bottom of the pressure pot is concave, making it hard to set things on it very flat. So you're either going to want to make a round circular base or a circular tray like I did. This one was made using my circular cutting jig that I made in the last video. Next, you'll need to make some form to use during casting. You can try to use MDF or other wood forms and a form release spray, but I like to use HDPE plastic. It's not very expensive and there's not much that will stick to it, making it, the castings very easy to remove. Curtis from Turntex has some very good instructional articles for making forms and I'll provide the reference links on my website. When mixing up the resin, you'll want to follow the instructions and have everything ready and nearby. The Illumilite that I'm using starts to set up in about 7 minutes, but you'll want to have it already in the pot and pressurized a decent amount of time before that, so the air bubbles have a chance to shrink before it starts to harden. A lot of people use this method of stabilizing and casting wood to make turning blanks or knife scales, but there are really a lot of possibilities out there. Here are a couple examples that I have laying around. This is a marking knife that I made recently out of a hybrid blank and high speed steel. I will provide a, a link for the video down in the description. This is one of the mallets that I recently made. This was more of a test and I'm using it to actually work on the table that I'm standing at right now. Um, I was actually very surprised how just sturdy this Illumilite was. No chipping has occurred even though I've been hitting it on mallets quite a bit. Here's a couple of the pen blanks that I've recently made and a couple of my friends Braxton Worthlin and Sean Rubino have recently turned a couple of these into some pretty awesome looking pens. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment down below and share it with your friends. If this is your first time here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Also, I just wanted to remind you that I do have a detailed article on my website, so if this is something you're interested, check that out. I'll have more reference links there. And I also have another website and video uh, that will show you how to build the stabilization uh, chamber and kind of continue out with the method to actually build something like this. So thanks for watching and stay safe.